Yeah, I, I just thought I'd show you some stones. Like, there's in the forest. Next to the house. It's really interesting that this is so green. Because this might indicate there is something in the rock which makes this green stuff flourish on top of it. Because there are many rocks, there's nothing growing on them. Like for example the plasma rocks, there's nothing growing on those. And this picture isn't altered in any way, that's the original picture, it's really a green stone. And next to it we find a cup stone. Here I digged a little bit out that you can see the cup. And many people still think that they are like man-made. And I don't think so. And the funny thing is I was sending some pictures to some... How to call it? I don't want to say the names yet. But anyway, and they said that, yeah, no, that's totally natural in the occurrence. And they got an explanation for that, but they didn't want to tell me their explanation for that. Let's see if they want to tell once then. Yeah, and then if you look around here, there are more rocks, which are really greenish in color. It would be nice to have some kind of laboratory at home, figure out what they are made of. Because it would be interesting. And then we have a stone just next to it, there is nothing growing on it. A little bit small one here. Just for comparable reasons. This is one of those smaller ones I drag home every now and then. And yeah, one could say that sandstone, nothing exceptional here, but these kind of shiny things. There's another one here. Now you can see them better. Even though it's not sharp, but you can see it's shiny there. This indicates some silica, some kind of crystal, which could indicate some kind of biological thing. Yeah, red color, maybe. Fa iron. But as we know, iron is really important for life. For us too. Yeah, that's about the same picture. That's an that's the stone from the outside. What we just saw from inside. And it's wet as you can see because it makes many things much more visible. And if you notice this line here. goes through the stone, it's inside the stone, it's not just on top of it. I just thought this could be some kind of bone, I don't know, probably. Would petrified bone look like this? I have no idea. Let's go on to the next pick. Yeah, that's the same one without addition of lightning. Yeah, it's not sharp, it's really hard to take pictures of that. That's obviously another stone. On the other side you can see like those black and red lines. That's the inside of it. And for me, this feature here, which is somehow repetitive, and also this one here, Somehow, for me, this looks like wood. And it's a little bit more color to it. Yeah, 
Yeah, this I took for comparable, or you could can compare what I mean with like it looks like wood, like this kind of figure here, and it's the same basically here. This is why I think this could be petrified wood. I'm not saying it is. I'm still waiting for the lab results until I send them further. Uh, objects to check out. And that's the same piece from the other side. Then again, that's wet because you can see much better like, what's going on. Yeah, this could be just some sedimentic rock fused together to a brick-like thing, but it could be also wood. I don't know. It's just intriguing. And that's another one, which could be petrified wood. It has this kind of circular shape to it. And yeah, really good picture. Hmm. That's the outside. And this could be barn, like worn down barn or something. And that's the other side, which is not cotton. Here you can see already this roundish feature. That's why I took the stone with me this this was the thing I noticed I like besides this shape and it was elongated yeah that's a fascinating piece if you watch closely you can see here these kind of black streaks which go everywhere and of course it's really easy to figure out that we have some kind of outer side to it which is Different in color, to have a bigger, no, that's the other side of it. Then now you can see better what I meant with the, with those black lines. I don't know if I showed this rock already once. Doesn't matter. Petrified wood or not, I don't know. Could be. And that's a little bit um, close up of what's going on on the edge. And these are the stripes. And they are like going through the stone. They're not just on top of it. Yeah, and that's also some really interesting stone. I have now two of similar kinds. It looks like marmor, marble. That's the other side, like rusty. So this black stuff here in the middle has to be some kind of metal, I guess, which is oxidating out. There's like stuff fused to it on top, like different kind of gravel and all kinds of things. That's another one. I think already the color is really interesting. Like really big grains of stuff fused together and... Yeah, show me the volcano doing this. That's the inside. There is probably... Uh, What is it called? Pyrite. Pyrite? Pyrite? Yeah, that's also a really interesting stone. Looks like it would be out of metal. Really fascinating surface. And that's the inside. And you can see it's like it's not too massive, it's porous, there's like layers and layers and layers, like air chambers and stuff. 
But there's also this kind of shiny, shimmery metal things. That's another stone that's so thin I didn't do too much with that because I fear that it, it's going to break. So probably I just try by hand to get some more out of it. It looks like it would be unsharp to picture, but I guess that's just how it looks. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I just thought I'd show you some rocks. I think it's intriguing. Wondering if they are petrified wood or not, or what they may be, might be bones or whatever. It's fascinating. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Maybe it, it's boring to talk about stones, but I like to talk about stuff every now and then. And stones are really, really nice because they're always listening.